St. Louis officials in Kansas City asking for help. While the homicide rate in KC has dropped quite a bit, in St. Louis it continues to climb. Last year in KC we had 78 homicides, St. Louis 159. That's more than double. Our local leaders credit KC's drop in violence to the No Violence Alliance. The program puts our city's most violent criminals face to face with leaders in law enforcement and the justice system. Criminals are given two choices, straighten up or spend the rest of your life behind bars. Prosecutor Gene Peters-Baker says that means showing muscle by taking on smaller cases like illegal gun ownership to prove all crime will not be tolerated. We're letting them know that if they don't heed the warning of, of remaining out of violence, living a crime-free lifestyle, that we're going to meet them with all we have. Whatever, whatever tools are in my toolbox, I'm going to use them. The next step here in KC, targeting kids and gangs committing violence. Peters Baker says in the past, prosecutors have been reluctant to put harsh sentences on juveniles. That all changes right now.